Okay, so here we are in Fort Myers, Florida. It is January 10, something like that today. Okay. And we have a patient here who came down from Tennessee, formerly from upstate New York, correct? Okay. A plumber by trade, and you heard the old joke, a plumber is called late at night, his <laughs> bill is $200, and, the, and, and the, 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 the client says, gosh, my doctor doesn't even charge that much when I go, and he says, well, I used to be a neurosurgeon, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm a plumber. Anyway, uh, you had an interesting situation, and when you were in New York, and this was how long ago you had the cataract surgery? Two years. Two years ago. Two years. The question is, you had some blurred vision then, and you went in complaining of blurred vision. And I, I, what is your exact age now? Well, I'm yeah. 64. 64. You're a young guy. You're not really that old. Uh, <laughs> so you went in complaining of blurred vision, but you had cataract surgery, and the result was that you felt your vision, although it might have been a little brighter, was actually worse. Correct? Yes, it was worse. Okay. A lot worse. I actually gave a paper, it was f uh, five, six years ago now, both in Berlin and in Boston on uh, the title of the paper was Unnecessary Capsulotomy, which is something we do after cataract surgery uh, because of a missed diagnosis of vitreous opacities. And the same thing applies to cataract surgery as well. Uh, the doctors just aren't tuned in to these vitreous veils, opacities, and clumps. Patient comes in, they complain of blurred vision. They see a little bit of cataract. They operate prematurely, and the patient is not necessarily worse, but certainly isn't any better. And subsequent to your cataract surgery, your vision got uh, quite quite blurred, correct? Well, yes, because I, I, had, I had floaters before then, but when I went for the diagnosis with him, he said the floaters would go away and that the frostiness that I seen was cataract. And when I had the cataracts done, what happened was it may have cleared it more, but it magnified the floaters. The floaters were more 3D. They were more br bright. Yes. They were, they, they were cutting off a lot of the sight that I seen. So it, it was worse when I had the cataract surgery. Of course, and, and, and certain patients can develop a what we call posterior vitreous detachment uh, after cataract surgery because the natural crystalline lens of the eye is, I'd say, the size of an M&M candy. And when we take that crystalline normal lens out, we replace it with a flat disc so there's a lot more wiggle room and stuff that was peripheral become central and it blurs vision. Right. So anyway, when we saw you, we, we first diagnosed a definitely cloudy membrane uh, capsule, we call that. In the left eye, we opened that up and your vision went from uncorrected 2100 to 2050. At that point, I could see well enough to get the floaters. And did we get the floaters reasonably to your satisfaction? Reasonably, and we've got most of the floaters that, that annoy me. That yes. They're in my vision. Yes. I mean, to, to think that you could get uh, a hundred, hundreds of floaters, <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not realistic. Yes, of course. And, and laser has its limitations, but it's very easy. It wasn't difficult to have laser, and you came out just fine. And then we went ahead with the right eye and got, uh, as best as we could, the opacities there. Yep. Uh, obviously, there will always be a little something to see, but uh, this was an easy process for you. You're going back home. You've got a video of the procedure. Hopefully, you'll be able to educate uh, one of your ophthalmologists or optometrists up there in Tennessee. I have and, one in particular. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and explain to him that, yes, uh, with proper patient selection and proper skill and proper equipment, uh, this can be done. The, uh, the paradigm out there with most ophthalmologists is, well, this isn't possible at all. We don't know this at Wilmer Eye Institute in Baltimore, Mass Eye and Ear, Harvard affiliated. And of course, since they know everything, they believe it doesn't happen. But it does happen. And the patient is the proof. And uh, well, this I thought, will. I thought there was no hope. Yeah. But there's hope. Great. And there's well, a lot of people like me out there. You're a great patient and uh, have a great trip back to Tennessee. And uh, best wishes. Thank, and thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you for all your help.